Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to learn about a plant that's as old as the dinosaurs. So did anybody guess the plant that I'm talking about? Today we're going to be learning about horsetail, botanical name Equisetum arvense. Here in Southern Ontario, we tend to harvest it around mid-May, so I'm just a smidgen late in terms of wanting to harvest it for things like tincture. But today I'm going to be harvesting it to make an infused oil. This plant, as I mentioned in the intro, is as old as the dinosaurs. At least its cousins were around during the Paleolithic periods. And so I always find it super fascinating that we have this like relative of the dinosaurs that are left. So when you wanna harvest it is after the fertile stalk has completely died back. So because it has died back, I can't show you one on the video. So I'm gonna show you a picture of it right here. So as you can see, the fertile stalk of the horsetail is actually pretty cool looking. And this is the part that, as the name implies, helps with reproduction of the plant. The part that we use for medicine is the vegetative stalk. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So this part's going to start to pop up after the fertile stalk dies back. So when we're harvesting it, we actually want to get all the way down to the bottom where the first set of leaves are. So that's what these little funky dudes are. They're actually leaves. So you would snip this whole thing right down at the bottom. When you don't want this plant is when it's actually completely fully opened. So as time goes on, the uh, fertile, or sorry, the vegetative stalk, it'll start kind of looking like this. And then as time goes on, those leaves will begin to droop. You really don't want it in terms of medicine at that point. So another really important thing to recognize when we're harvesting horsetail is that this is actually a colony plant. So this entire um, group of horsetail vegetative stalks is actually all a part of the same colony. So when we're harvesting, it's really important that we don't take too, too many from the exact same colony because it's going to stress it out and result in um, depletion of population. Where I'm going to be harvesting it today is where it has decided to naturalize itself in my vegetable garden, which is not really super convenient. So for me, that's going to be the place where I'm going to take a look at it and harvest it for infusing into oil. So why would you want to harvest horsetail? As I mentioned in the earlier segment, I'm going to be infusing it into a carrier oil today to use as a part of my Herbal Bliss salve. The properties that I'm looking for when I want to make a salve that's great for cuts, bites, scrapes, stings, wounds, all manner of ouchies and boo-boos, including things like mosquito bites. Um, I'm looking for properties that are astringent, or herbs that are astringent, herbs that are vulneraries. Vulneraries help to heal tissues. And in this particular case, horsetail is a really great styptic, meaning it helps to stem and stop bleeding. So this would also be a great plant to use as a poultice, um, you know, on a more serious injury, like a deeper cut or wound. It's also a pretty decent vascular tonic. So in terms of a carrier oil infused product, you could use it for something like a, more like a sore muscle or deep tissue injuries because it does have that ability to penetrate deeper. In terms of using this in tincture, one of the main reasons that I like to have it is for urinary tract issues in general. It is a fantastic diuretic and it is one of the few prostatics, so herbs that support the prostate. prostate. So it's great for things like incontinence, bedwetting, um, or any general kidney issues. We do have to be cognizant of the fact though that it contains fairly high levels of silica, and I'll talk about that um, a little bit later, but in terms of the silica content, over the long-term use, it will start to irritate the kidneys. So this is definitely not a plant you wanna be on for long, long periods of time. It's also a really good depurative herb and helps to support uh, the urinary tract as well as the lymphatic system. It's also a decent little uh, anti-rheumatic too. So if you've got rheumatoid based conditions, this is a great herb to help with um, depurative issues in that way or detoxifying issues to help deal with your rheumatoid arthritis or rheumatism. So remember that silica content I mentioned before? Because of that, internally, it's excellent for short-term treatment of things like torn ligaments, broken bones, um, pulled muscles or strains, where it's actually gonna help to repair the tissues. 
and topically I love to use it in my herbal hair rinse because that silica content is really really great for your hair. So last but not least we have to talk about any potential toxicity or contraindication. So I mentioned the silica issue so when we're using it in tincture or tea form over chronic long periods of time it can cause some irritation to the urinary tract so please be aware of that and ensure that you have the correct species and that you are indeed harvesting Equisetum arvents because there are other species of Equisetum that do have some toxicity associated so make sure you're positively identifying and I actually have a really great video that I can link up and teach you the basics of how to harvest your plants. In terms of contraindication, because of this silica content, we don't really want to use it on infants, small children, okay? And anyone who has any significant kidney pathology, you should really be working with a qualified herbalist if you've got any chronic conditions in general. Now, I didn't really mention this, but um, horsetail does actually have some nervous system properties, things like relaxant and tranquilizer. I don't tend to use it for this reason because there are lots of other herbs that I kind of shine brighter in that particular category and then I don't have to worry about the silica content. However, because it is a relaxant and a tranquilizer, we proceed with caution if we have clients that are on um, mood altering medications, so things like antidepressants and anxiolytics or anti-anxiety herbs. So on behalf of this dinosaur-based plant, horsetail, I want to thank you so very much for joining me on yet another Herbal Materia Medica video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, this is Corrine from Spirea Herbs, wishing you health and wellness.